unbelievable versatility. Um, great to have in our back pocket a player like that that can go back on D and, and make some really savvy plays back there. So she's getting it done all over the place and is worthy of everything you guys are saying about her. What was your mind? What goes through your mind when you're sitting there? Do I move her back on D or do I just play with five defensemen at this point? What What was your thought process on that move? We've talked about it a lot just as games get tight. You know, she's always an option that we can put back once we get a lead. So we were prepared. She probably didn't know that, but um, it just, you know, gives us an extra person back there. And, you know, they're going to pull the goalie and they're going to throw everything at us. So we don't need the goals up front. We need strength in the back end. So it's end. kind of a, a situational thing yeah. tonight. Where we, if if uh, Healy had gone down right. early in the game and you guys are down, you maybe don't make that move. Right, right. How do you feel Morgan Fair stepping up there on that, on that top line? Of great, so, great. Yeah. She keeps it simple. Gets putts deep, uh, had a good opportunity, outskated one of their best defensemen and took a nice slap shot on net. So she's uh, she does exactly what we asked of her. Laura, what was it like for you? You score the game winner, Jess goes down, and then, and then you move back to defense. Is that a tough, tough transition for you to make in a game or not really? Not really. I guess I'll play where coach put me. <laughs> no, I mean, I played D before. I played D and PK. And, yeah, it's nice to get the goal ahead especially right after they score, so to rebound kind of back. Yeah. Can, you, can you take us through, through that goal? It looked like it was a real tough angle. You were good question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, we had a, a good on and rush, I think, and then I stopped and I had the puck and I didn't even see it going in. I just saw the light going off, so started telling, yeah. You didn't see any opening. There wasn't any opening. You just shot and it was in. Well, I was hoping there was an opening, like <laughs> kind of like half. <laughs> So there was one, I guess. <laughs> Coach, are you pretty confident in your players to keep their composure when things are starting to get chippy down the stretch there? Yeah, I think we've had a lot of experience in these situations over the course of the season, especially lately. You know, our our games against Ohio State, you know, you think about the third periods. We've been, it's been tight every third period. And uh, we figure out ways to win. We play smart. Uh, we're drawing other teams into penalties at bad times for them. Um, so I think it's it's very impressive how far we've come. And what's going through you guys' mind when the game is starting to get pretty chippy out there? I would say, I don't know, I'm just trying to get everyone to stay right here, get myself to stay here, not to get too high or low, because uh, that's when you take the penalty. So. Sid, can you take us through uh, your goal that gave the team that one only? Um, So early in the game, I hardly remember, but uh, I just remember Brooke getting the puck down low, and I was wide open in the slot, and uh, just fired it as quick as I could. Made a pretty good play off your foot to yeah. your stick oh, yeah. to yeah. get that off. The first time you were down on the kick down, but you, you actually blocked it with your foot and then, yeah. you, and then, then it. you turned your skater and then you just hit your skater, right? Yeah, I just, well, uh, it was coming uh, in my feet, so I just kind of kicked it up and shot it in. Yeah, it was a very quick play. You had a millisecond <laughs> to get the stick up. <laughs> Laura, how much have you seen, like you said, throughout your throat? season, it seems like she's becoming more confident out there handling the puck and, and kind of ended a, a little scoring ground there for today. Yeah, I mean, she shows her skills every day in practice, and having her back this weekend is huge for us, especially when Kako's gone. And, yeah, I mean, she's stepping up. Like, she's talking in the locker room. She has already, like, a huge leadership position, I would say. Like, to me, she's not really a freshman anymore, and no one is, like, halfway through the season or even more. Yeah. <laughs> Said tough at all going through a, a stretch there where you weren't getting points at all, or, or not really frustrated for you? I was, I was definitely frustrated because it's tough uh, not being able to get some goals and stuff. But I just tried to grind through it and keep playing, uh, keep playing tough, and uh, playing for the team. So I'm glad to get the drought over with. But yeah. she actually called it yesterday <laughs> yeah. at dinner. She told me in break. She was like, "Yeah, I'm going to score tomorrow." Nice. <laughs> and then she did. <laughs> I, 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 I do that every dinner. <laughs>